In this video, I'm going to give a demonstration of solving partial fraction decomposition or integrals involving partial fraction decomposition that have repeated quadratic factors. And the problem we're going to be concerned with is the integral of x cubed plus 1 over x times the quantity x squared plus x plus 1 squared. For a distinct linear factor, we only need one letter over that factor. So for the factor of x, we have a over x. But for the repeated quadratic factor, because the degree is 2, or it's a second power, we're going to need two different partial fractions for that factor, for that repeated quadratic factor. And there's going to be one for each degree of the exponent. So if we start at exponent 2, then we'll have one for the second power and one for the first power. If we started at 3, we would have one for the third power, one for the second power, one for the first power, etc. And the numerators of the uh, partial fractions for the repeated quadratic factors are going to be, or going to involve, two letters bx plus c, dx plus e. And so now we're ready to begin the process of partial fraction decomposition. And so that'll be the very first thing uh, that we do in this case. So actually, uh, what I have here is not mathematically correct. Since the expression to the right doesn't have any integrals, let's just deal with the uh, fraction itself. And then we'll put it together and include integrals at that point. So the very first thing we want to do is multiply both sides of this by the common denominator. Now when we do, we end up with x cubed plus 1 is equal to a times x squared plus x plus 1 quantity squared plus the quantity bx plus c times x plus the quantity dx plus e times x times the quantity x squared plus x plus 1. And again, at any point, you can pause the video and work through the example yourself to make sure you're coming to the same conclusion. The next thing we need to do after this is to multiply everything out and then to group our second, uh, fourth degree, third degree, second degree, first degree, and constant terms. And so I'm going to skip all the middle steps, and you can work that out on your own to double check to make sure you're getting from this point, uh, from this step, to the next one. And then following that, we're going to be able to set up our system of equations involving those capital letters that will allow us to solve for each of them. And if we do this starting with a equals 1, which is the constant term, um, that has to match the 1 on the left side of the equation, uh, we can move from left to right. a equals 1, then we can solve for d, and a plus d equals 0. We can solve for e then, and 2a plus d plus e equals 1. We can go on to solve for b, and then finally to solve for c. So I'm going to skip that whole process, and I think that it's uh, pretty straightforward. You're just going to do uh, back, back substituting all the way across there. And you should come up with these values for each of those capital letters. And once again, you want to pause the video, work through that, and make sure that you come up with these answers that are here. a is 1, d is negative 1, e is 0, b is negative 2, and c is equal to negative 2. Once we have those, we can then set up our integral with these partial fractions, or we can set up the, uh, the, the split up integral using these partial fractions. And so on first pass through this, we have integral 1 over x dx. And then I've factored out, since uh, b and c are both negative, I factored out the negative, And I end up with 2x plus 2. Uh, at, over x squared plus x plus 1 quantity squared. And then once again, since d is negative 1, I've factored out that negative, And now I have negative integral x over x squared plus x plus 1 dx. At this point, only the very first integral there is trivial. The other two, we're going to split each one into two other integrals. And we'll see how that works in just a second. 
And so we'll work on each of those two integrals one at a time. Starting with the second integral, negative integral 2x plus 2 over x squared plus x plus 1 quantity squared. For this one, we're going to, we would like to use a u substitution involving x squared plus x plus 1. That is the uh, inside function in the denominator, uh, which derivative would give us 2x plus 1. So since we don't have that, we're going to do a little trick with the numerator. And that's simply going to involve subtracting 1 and then adding 1. So we haven't changed the numerator, uh, but we're going to use that to split up this integral into two different integrals. And we'll see that on the next line. All right. What uh, To begin to prepare the third integral, we're going to do something similar there. We also would like to use x squared plus x plus 1 as u. And so we need a 2x plus 1 in the numerator of that fraction. We don't have that. So what we're going to do there is start by multiplying numerator and denominator by 2. And then we also well, we'll continue in the next step there. So let's assume that we've multiplied the numerator and denominator by 2. All right, so we'll go on to the next step. I'll scroll down or up so that you can see uh, the next step. So in this next step, if you can see, I have taken that second integral and split it into 2. Now, there are a couple of things to pay attention to there. First of all, splitting that up, basically all that I've done there is combine the 2 and the minus 1 into 1. Then I would have 2x plus 1 plus 1. And then I split that up into two different fractions, 2x plus 1 over quantity x squared plus x plus 1 squared. And then plus 1 over quantity x squared plus x plus 1 squared. Now, because there's a negative out in front of that whole integral there, I do need to distribute that negative through. And so my second integral will also come up negative. Then I've done some more work on the third integral. You can see that I've started by adding 1 and subtracting 1. And I'm going to do the same thing here by uh, after I get the 2x plus 1 and then the minus 1, I'm going to split that off. Note because there's a negative 1 half in front of that integral. The 1 half came from the 2 in the denominator. I'm going to have to distribute that negative 1 half to the second uh, integral that I create from that one as well. All right, so we'll go on to the final step of setting up all these integrals. OK, then. So we have the first integral, integral dx over x. Second integral, integral 2x plus 1 over quantity x squared plus x plus 1 squared dx minus integral dx over quantity x squared plus x plus 1 squared. Then from the fourth integral above, we've split that into 2. And we get negative 1 half integral 2x plus 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 dx. And finally, again, because we're distributing the negative 1 half to the negative 1, we end up with positive 1 half integral dx over x squared plus 1. All right, so in this case, the first integral is fairly trivial. The second one is going to involve a simple u substitution. The fourth integral will also involve a u substitution, but is very doable. And the third should be the most complicated one is going to involve a trig substitution. Um, and the fifth is going to involve a u substitution that's going to provide a uh, uh, tan inverse tangent. So we'll take a look at what those look like in the next video. So we'll start to break those down. Maybe first, before I do that, I'm just going to number these integrals really quickly. So that's 1. This would be integral 2. This would be integral 3, integral 4, and integral 5. And we'll go about breaking those down in the uh, next video or videos.